Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I have a makeup tutorial for you. Uh, I did a brown smoky eye and full coverage foundation routine kind of thing. And also all of the products but one are drugstore so very affordable. Uh, also um, I gave these kind of, I made these, hang on let me show you I've got a swivel chair sort of like Dutch space buns, I guess you could say. Uh, if you guys want to see a tutorial on that, give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe so that you can stay informed when more videos like this come out. So uh, if you want to see how this look is created, then keep watching. So I'm starting out this tutorial with my Revlon palette. This is an eyeshadow palette, but I'm using it to fill in my eyebrows with an angled brush and I'm just taking that darkest shade. And this clip isn't very long because I filled my eyebrows in on YouTube many times. Next, I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the shade Eden. And this is in fact the only product in the video that is not drugstore. And that's because I do not own a drugstore primer. I'm sure there are many though. That are really good. Next, with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder Translucent Shade, I'm setting my eyeshadow primer potion. That's also a real technique setting brush if anyone was wondering. And now I'm moving on to the Nudes Maybelline palette. And this is the only eyeshadow palette or the palette that I'm using for all the eyeshadows. I'm starting with a taupe shade all over the eyelid. And then I'm going to be going in with a golden brown shade for the smoky look. And I'm just packing that onto my eyes and then I will be blending it out. I also took the eyeshadow underneath my eye on the lash line if I didn't mention that before. Now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Brown Coal Eyeliner, very cheap, very affordable and very effective. Look at that point. Now I'm putting that on my lash line and on my waterline. Next, moving on to mascara with Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this mascara. And no, I'm not torturing myself. It is a very effective, proven, scientific way to put on mascara. Next, moving on to the face with the e.l.f. Mineralize Primer. And it did have a funny smell. Hmm, maybe I should replace it soon. Now for foundation, I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I love this. It's very good full coverage. I'm saying it's great. And it's a good shade for me and uh, drugstore again. So um, it's all part of the acne full coverage foundation routine. Now I'm just buffing that in with the Real Techniques buffing brush and this takes rather a long time for me so I sped up the clip. Also keep getting hair on my face. And I'm taking the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, no I did not know it was upside down, and I'm mixing shades 1 and 2 to create the perfect shade for myself. And then I'm going to take that on my blemishes and underneath my eyes and I'm also clearing up any unwanted eyeshadow as well.
Now I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again, translucent, with a flat top brush just to set all of the makeup. And now moving on to the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzer, which smells amazing, just like chocolate. And I'm going to be taking that uh, to contour with, so underneath my cheekbones, around my face, and under my jaw as well. Now for the last product is the Rimmel Cape Moss Lipstick in 107. Absolutely beautiful shade. And I'm just putting that on my lips. And that is the finished look. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and uh, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.